right, well, while I was making makeup, someone decided to empty out the pantry. No, no, no. Uh, of some couscous. I'm done. And it's now all over the floor. So, okay, so here we go. We're gonna get this cleaned up first thing in the morning. Saturday. I am currently working on editing this video for today, which was supposed to have been done last night, but didn't get done. No, 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 don't sling that around. We have a t-ball game to go to here in a little bit, and so I need to get my button here. So that's what I'm working on, and yeah, I just thought I would say hello, start the vlog, and we'll see you at the ball field probably. Got your truck? You got your car and truck? Whoa, that's a big one, right? Car. Yeah. Damn, bip. Oh, drink? Yeah. Good job. Um, bottle. Bottle? You got all your things. Where's your other one? Where's your other car? Isn't there one more? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Found it. Yeah, there it is. All right. Oh no, do that. It's because you dumped the water bottle out. Alright you guys, we are back home. That was like the fastest game. So the coach apparently went out drinking last night with some friends. And I think it's a little bit hungover. So ended the game a little early. So, okay, stop, 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 stop. Which is kind of sad. But the kids are being very rowdy right now. So I'm thinking that nap time is coming very shortly. But I am going to get a crock pot macaroni and cheese in the crock pot for an early dinner. Um, I just burnt myself on our air fryer. See that red spot? Hurts really bad. I was making some of these little corn dog bites for Sam and burnt myself taking them out. <laughs> Um, so anyway, this crock pot macaroni and cheese recipe is called Southern Style Crock Pot Macaroni and Cheese. Super easy. It bakes for three hours and it has like the eggs in it and everything so it gets yeah. it a really good texture. 
Um, I usually like to grate my own cheese. You get a much better mac and cheese like that, but I don't think I have that. I just have the pre-shredded, so it's fine. It'll all work out, and I don't have evaporated milk. That's also fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cooking and in the crock pot. I'll link the recipe down below if you guys are looking for a good crock pot southern style macaroni and cheese. It only has to cook for three hours on low. Um, and then I'll probably make like a um, like a meatloaf or something on the side because I do have a couple pounds of ground beef that need to be cooked. And to me, a meatloaf with some crock pot mac and cheese and maybe a side salad sounds like a good dinner so and an easy one at that so the best gift that i could ever give to myself is getting my dinner done early you guys it's life giving to me this hurts so bad um, but yeah my back is okay for the time being All right, you guys, check out the clean kitchen. I mean, I do have like four loads of laundry over there, but I'm pretty happy. That's even clean. I just need to dry it off and put it away. There's my laundry defoldator. Um, you know, there's a couple of random mail items, etc. This needs new batteries, so we're gonna put some batteries in that. But, I mean, it's not bad compared to what it looked like a few minutes ago. So I'm really, really thrilled. I got the crock pot macaroni and cheese cooking. Let's see, it's been in there for 45 minutes. So let me think, when is it gonna be done? So in another 15, so at 2.45, it's going to be an hour. 4:45, so around 4:45 it should be done. So close to five o'clock. Okay. And I also got my meatloaf put in the oven as well, which I'm really excited about. That means dinner is practically done. I'll probably make some like mashed potatoes or something to go with it, or just some other like side salad. So that should be good. And then. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to put Sammy down for his nap, and I'm gonna go grab my book. I'm almost finished with my book, like very, very close. So I'm gonna probably lay there and read. I need to finish today's vlog that I had almost finished, and I literally forgot about it. So I need to finish today's vlog, put Sammy down, and Fold the laundry. That's what I'm do. All right, can you say night night? Night night. We still make things our well. What facts belong? It's hard to say. The pattern is so hard to tell. But we're together. That's our game. Round and round and round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not a fun noise. We'll hear enough of that as it is. We are in the shoe store. Mason wanted to earn a little bit of money, so we left him home with the little kids. And so we're at the shoe store with Daddy, and we're just gonna look around. I got a noise here. Oh, I promise I'll grab it. Oh my God, a noise machine. And uh, today I went on a girls' day with my friend, and I got gel nails. I got got pretty gel nails, very pretty. And yeah, so yes. All right, we're gonna look around the shoe store. We did go into Barnes and Noble for a few minutes too, and I got a book. So I'll show you that when we get back in the car. All right, you guys, we are home, and I just thought I would show you the books I picked up at Barnes and Noble tonight. I got this one, Foul Lady Fortune. I found or heard about this one from someone online. I can't remember. 
So I thought I would check it out. I guess it's like a tw uh, Romeo and Juliet twist somewhat. So I thought I would check that out. And I also just randomly chose this one. And it was um, national bestseller. Also won an award. Let's see. Winner of the Edgar Allen for Best YA Mystery. back. I guess it was 2017. So I just figured that sounded good. And I'm going to give that one a try. All right. Hello, guys. So I got my nails done today. Pretty cute. Um, so I think I'm going to do a hand to hand competition against myself. So let's do it. Yeah. 